Hi everyone, Miss Negron here. Today we're going to be discussing composition of transformations. A composition is a sequence or combination of two or more transformations. For example, we can take triangle ABC and reflect it, translate it, and rotate it. When looking at compositions of transformations, mathematical notation is going to be read as transformation two follows transformation one. So the circle that separates the two transformations is read as the word follows. When performing a composition, we read it from right to left. So transformation one would be performed first and transformation two would be performed second. Compositions are not commutative, which means order matters. So if you perform your compositions from right to left, versus left to right, you might actually get a different outcome. Some special combinations we will discuss in this video include glide reflections, composition of translations, composition of reflections over both parallel and perpendicular lines, composition of rotations, composition of dilations, and dilation by a negative scale factor. So let's take a look at a composition of transformations. Here we have triangle ABC, and we are going to compare the images when first performing a translation 1, 5 follows a reflection over the line y equals x versus a reflection over the line y equals x follows a translation of 1, 5. So when performing a reflection over the line y equals to x, we are first going to flip our image over the line and then translate that image one unit right and five units up versus performing your translation first and then your reflection after. When comparing the two double prime images, you will see that order matters because they do not end in the same exact position. This represents why compositions are not commutative. Let's now take a look at a special composition known as a glide reflection. So a glide reflection is any composition of a reflection and a translation where the line of reflection is parallel to the direction of the translation. For example, here we have triangle ABC. We are going to compare it when performing a translation of 11, 0 follows a reflection over the line y equals 2 versus a reflection over the line y equals 2 follows the translation of 11, 0. When performing the reflection first, we're going to graph the line y equals 2 and reflect triangle ABC over the line, then translate 11 units to the right to get triangle ABC double prime. If we were to reverse the order and perform the translation first, then the reflection, you will see here that your double prime image lands in the same position, therefore showing for glide reflections, these are commutative. Let's take a look at a composition of translations. Here you have any composition of two translations can be expressed as a single translation by adding the initial translations together. So if we have here graph quadrilateral math after a translation of negative 17 comma 12 follows a translation of 11 negative 3, what we can do is add the two compositions together to get a final translation of negative 6, 9. So if we first perform the translation of 11, negative 3, we would get the prime image for math, then following with the translation of negative 17, 12 to get math double prime. Well, 11 minus 17 would give you negative 6 and negative 3 plus 12 will give you positive 9. So if we were to perform the single translation of moving left 6 units and up 9 units, our image will actually be the same as performing the two translations separately. Let's now take a look at composition of reflections over parallel lines. Here we have any composition of two reflections over parallel lines can be expressed as a single translation. So here we have triangle DOG. 
We are first going to reflect it over the line x equals to 5. Then we are going to reflect it over the line x equals negative 3. This is the same outcome as if we were to translate our image 16 units to the left. Any composition of two reflections over intersecting, or in this specific case, perpendicular lines, can be expressed as a single rotation. So here we have a reflection over the y-axis follows a reflection over the x-axis. So if we reflect over the x-axis and then reflect over the y-axis, this is actually the same thing as rotating our image 180 degrees. Now let's take a look at a composition of rotations. Similar to a composition of translations, where you can add the translations together, you can also add the degree measurements for your rotations to get a single rotation. So here if we rotate the image 90 degrees counterclockwise, and then rotate the image 180 degrees counterclockwise, that is the same thing as rotating our image a single rotation of 270 degrees because 90 plus 180 will give us 270. Let's now take a look at a composition of dilations. So similar to a composition of rotations and translations, you can combine them to give you a single dilation. For this specific case, you will actually multiply the scale factors of the composition of dilations to get a single dilation. So in this case, we have a dilation of 12 follows a dilation of 1 fourth. If you first perform a dilation of 1 fourth and then perform a dilation of 12, 1 fourth times 12 is 3. So a single dilation here would be by the scale factor of 3. Lastly, let's look at a dilation by a negative scale factor. So any dilation by a negative scale factor can be expressed as the composition of a reflection and a dilation. So in this case, we're going to compare a rotation of 180 follows a dilation of 1 half versus a dilation of negative 1 half. So we will first perform the dilation of 1 half and then comparing each image for the rotation of 180, you will see that A prime goes from negative 1, negative 4 to positive 1, 4. B prime also changes both signs, as well as C prime changing both signs. This is the same thing as dilating by negative one half. So we are going to dilate and then rotate our image 180 degrees to account for the negative. Thank you for watching Compositions of Transformations. I hope this video clarifies compositions as well as special compositions. For further questions on any transformations, please check out my other videos.